who the good guys are anymore. I've been thinking. Maybe it's time I hang it up. No. Travis, not enough. Was he thinking or sinking? His new movie is entitled Backlight with Liam Neeson from Rockford to Chicago to Neeson. Let's say hello to Aiden Quinn. Aiden, how are you? Good. How you doing? How's everybody? Everybody's great. You know, we were talking off the air. You and I have similar paths. You were born in Rockford, moved to Chicago, went back and forth to Ireland. I was born in Peoria, moved to Rockford, then Chicago, and went back and forth to an Irish pub. (laughs) (laughs) Well, we we have that in common, but I was born in Chicago. Born in Chicago. Now, did your father work in Rockford? Was that the path? Yeah, back and forth, back and forth. You know, I used to ride my Schwinn bike to WROK, which was only two blocks from our house on uh, Alcrest over there. And we used to peer through the windows and see the guys on the station and think, oh, my God, they're talking to the world. That's just that's just powerful. And here I am talking to you. How about that? That's a legendary <laughs> station in Rockford. We're on that station. Um, yeah, I know. That's, I saw that. I saw that. But we are okay. So hello to everyone there. How about that? Um, you're back with Liam Neeson. This is your second movie with him? Uh, it's actually our fourth, but um, only three that we were uh, actually interacting. And one of them we were in that uh, we didn't have any scenes together. Yeah, it's actually our fourth. Yeah, I did Michael Collins, Unknown, and uh, this one. He seems like a very intimidating figure in real life. Six four. His movies now. He beats up everybody, kills people. What's he like in real life? Oh, Liam is Liam is a dope. He's a he's a great conversationalist. He's very funny. He's very relaxed. Uh, he's uh, one of my daughter's favorite people because he actually listens to her and uh, and uh, uh-huh. you know listens to everything she says. And he's he's great. Uh, don't I don't want to get on the wrong side of Liam. <laughs> getting on the wrong side of liam means he delivers the one-liner before he knocks your lights out i don't think i'd want that <laughs> exactly so now he's, he's he's a great man and a great friend and uh, he, he's so good in this film people are really gonna love him in this i want to love you in this why should we love you in this film I, I had some fun. I had played the head of the uh, FBI who thinks, like many people in this country, that the world, that the country is going to hell in a handbasket and needs to go back to some traditional values. And oh. he's uh, maybe gotten a little bit awry with that. He's got a little J. Edgar Hoover-ish thing in him. But, you know, he means well. <laughs> Don't we all? But, uh, we, uh, <laughs> we're old friends. We're old friends, Liam and I, in, in, in the movie. And then things go awry between us, so we kind of go to battle, you know. God, I love All right. that. What, yeah, what did you do to prep for this role? Uh, n- not much, in the sense that I, I, I read, <laughs> I read the script. He's and, a pro! Uh, I met I Liam of, at an Irish I, pub, and we talked. Right. <laughs> I thought about working with Liam again, and I had a smile on my face. I looked at the uh, check that was coming, I smiled some more. uh, we're talking with aiden quinn his new movie is called backlight you know people always ask us on the show who's been your favorite guests and you know it's so hard to think but there's always a few that come to mind you've done so many great movies like desperately seeking susan legends of the fall i loved you and benny in june when you look back you say wow i love doing that movie because which one is it well, I mean, of those, I, I loved all of those. I mean, you know, all of those. And, and I also loved like, doing Michael Collins with Liam, with uh, Stephen Ray and Brendan Gleeson. Oh, right. All the wonderful actors that were in that. Um, all the great Irish legendary actors. I mean, that was just one of the highlights of, of, of my career. But when it works out like that, it's, it's, there's nothing better. Do you miss working in television after your long stint with Elementary? Well, not really, because I just did uh, for HBO Max uh, uh, um, American Guest, where I played Teddy Roosevelt in the three-part miniseries in, in the Amazon <gasps> Jungle. Oh, and wow. That, that was a great challenge, and that's right on right, right now, and it's really good. And oh, my gosh. Check it out. It's about his I need his to watch his That in, trip killed him. You, well, it it. It, it up, aged yeah. him greatly, but I mean, he was never the same after that trip that he thought would revitalize him and bring back his manhood, and it really just knocked him down a couple pegs. That is correct. That is correct. You're absolutely right. And um, he never really got for his full vigor back after that because of the, the malaria and the sickness and the fistulas and all the stuff that he got down there in the 
jungle. Yeah, it's a tough place to uh, work and live, but uh, it was a great adventure, and it's a wonderful script, and um, people should check it out, called The American Guest on HBO Max. Wow, that's impressive. When you get to a certain point in your career, like you, a character actor, do people call you and say, okay, we're ready for the next thing, or do you have an agent that lines things up? Because I feel like people are always calling guys like you. We need Aiden Quinn in our movie to play this. Stat. Luckily, not, uh, I mean, luckily, yes, that is often the case, but not always. And, um, yes, the agent and manager, my manager in particular, is always looking out for stuff and have their ear to the ground and hearing about scripts or sending them to you. But, you know, often I do get offered, uh, you know, sent and offered what, what I do. So I'm lucky in that way. Yes. Do you still have family back here in the Midwest? You know, sadly, no. Everybody has everybody has either died or left. You know, that's um, too bad. Unfortunately, of my immediate immediate family. So um, I I miss uh, going to the Cubs. I'm glad to see the Bulls doing so well. I'm a big Cubs fan. Look and, at you. Uh, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to coming to Chicago this spring. I'm going to take a trip out there as soon as this Omicron you know drops down a little bit more. I'll see you on the back patio at Bernie's. How about that? (laughs) Okay, sounds good. (laughs) Aiden Quinn, check him out in Backlight in theaters now. Aiden, you're the best. Thank you. Yeah. More of the Pete McMurray Show.